Hey everyone, today we'll be having a quick tour of the test bench I use for making the videos for this channel. This is a DIY test bench I made last summer out of scrap parts. To start off, we have the top part of the bench which is just a butchered computer case. It was an old case which belonged to my younger brother and it's gotta be around 13 years old. It's been sitting in the garage and not doing anything so I decided to make use of it. It was a mid ATX case, so I had to find ways to make it smaller. Using a Dremel, I was able to cut into the rigid parts of the bottom of the case to allow me to bend it into a 90 degree angle. The back panel where the motherboard goes onto is now on the outside and screwed onto the bottom slash side of the case. I did use a piece of scrap wood to make that final corner for support. I didn't want to keep it with that plain sheet metal look, I, I wanted to customize it a bit. So I gave it a coat of fiery orange for the sides and used black plastic dip for the top. About a few months later is when I worked on the bottom half of the test bench. I wanted somewhere to store the other motherboard and have room for additional items. Using scrap wood, I measured some pieces and made the bottom frame. Gave it a quick spray of black spray paint and used some thin but firm plywood for the shelving. Those were just nailed in using a nail gun. The top and bottom are connected using metal brackets. I used sheet metal screws and bolts for most of it except for the corner stem where I did use a wood screw to provide a good grip on that piece of wood. The keyboard and mouse are inexpensive items I purchased off of Amazon. Both are wireless and their dongles are attached to a small USB hub which is stored in the middle shelf. In there we also have the other CPs when they're not in use and we also have the XFX R9280. The bottom shelf does have room for the other micro ATX motherboard and some room for the mini ATX Gigabyte GTX 970. To record from the bench to my primary system, we use the Elgato HD60 and the signal is bypassed to an old 32 inch TV. This was purchased at a huge discount about 5 or 6 years ago. In terms of the overall size for this test bench, it's about the height of a mid ATX case and just a bit wider than a regular tower. Swapping components doesn't take too much time and everything is easily accessible. So I hope you have enjoyed this quick video. If you guys are interested I can show you my primary system as well as the overall battle station or give you a tour of my little office where I work on these projects. Thanks for watching, take care and have a great day.